everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is time for another Lakers update. However, today's video is going to be more about the NBA playoffs and NBA finals. I only have a couple of things to talk about for the Lakers, but it is a beautiful day out today. The sun is shining. It is a nice hot day. Compared to the last couple of videos I've done, it has been either raining or sprinkling. So today I'm out in the sun enjoying the beauty of the day. Let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is the new head coach, Frank Vogel. He has been interviewed and he's been talking about some of his plans for the Lakers. One of the things that he has been saying is that he really, really feels like NBA players like being coached. They want a strong coach who's going to provide them with a lot of guidance. And he thinks that this is something that is going to be helpful for the Lakers. He feels like with a lot of guidance from him, giving them instruction on exactly what he wants them to do, teaching them to work together, play together as a team, and depend on one another as one unit, not one or two strong players here and there, depending on them and letting the other players kind of assist them. He wants everyone to come together as one strong unit. And he believes with that type of leadership and that type of instruction, they're gonna make it into the playoffs next year, which of course is my goal and my dream as well. He's also indicated that he feels like this team can make it to the finals even next year and win a championship. He said it's been far too long since the Lakers have made it into the playoffs and he wants that to change right now. He's coming in with a great attitude, some strong, clear ideas of what he thinks is going to help this team and I am hopeful that he is right. I'm looking forward to seeing the next season start and seeing how everyone plays together and what his coaching style will actually be when they're out on the court. The second thing I want to talk about is LeBron James. The NBA has recently stated that LeBron James's jersey is currently the most popular jersey in the NBA, which is really cool because there are a lot of amazing players out there, but currently his is the most popular and I understand understand why. He's an amazing player to watch and I hope that that will give him what he needs to move forward into the next season with a great, great feeling of fan support and fan appreciation for him to help lead the Lakers to a win and to the playoffs next year. Additionally, LeBron James was just named to all NBA third team. For LeBron James to win this amazing NBA award is quite an achievement and we are very proud of him. LeBron James is the 19th player in Laker history to earn all NBA honors and is the first since Kobe Bryant who made first team in 2013. So this is an amazing honor for LeBron James and we're very excited for this. Now on to some NBA playoffs updates. The playoffs have ended and we are headed into the finals. Before we get to the information on the finals though, let's talk about some highlights of the playoffs. This last round of playoffs has been amazing. The last time we talked, I was talking about how amazing it was that the Curry brothers were playing each other in the Western Conference to try to win to get into the finals. The amazing thing was, Whichever team won, at least that meant that that family was going to have something to celebrate because one of the Curry brothers was going to make it into the finals. As I predicted, it was the Golden State Warriors that ended up making it. They actually won four games in a row to take them into the finals, which has been amazing because it's given them a very, very long break between playoffs and finals. They've had a long time to rest up and prepare for the finals and they have had a lot of time to practice come together and hopefully have some of their players that have been out with injuries heal and be ready to play in the finals. It's still unknown whether Kevin Durant will be playing, but I am hopeful that he will be back. I know that they've been working really, really hard with him to try to get him healed so that he can play. However, it's unknown at this time whether he will be back. As well as DeMarcus Cousins is concerned, the last word on that is that he won't be back yet either, but he's still working on his healing and hopefully will be returning sometime during the finals before the season end. During the four games in this final series of playoffs, the Splash Brothers made an amazing, amazing appearance. That is Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. They have been so amazing at all of their shots and making points for these teams. They were such a great impact on this team winning four games in a row against Steph Curry's brother, Seth 
Curry and the Portland Trailblazers. In the fourth game of this series, Andre Iguodala was injured and was taken out of the game and he did not return. So I'm hopeful that he will be healed and ready to play in the finals. Another amazing player was Draymond Green. He was such an intricate part of this team winning, not only with rebounds, but also with his baskets. When they needed him most, he would come alive. He played the majority of the minutes in all four games, and he was an outstanding player and asset to this team. For the Golden State Warriors, this will be their fifth straight final appearance. They have made it into the finals, now including this year, five years in a row, which is so incredible for them. As far as the Eastern Conference is concerned, when the Warriors won their fourth game in a row, putting them into the finals, the games were tied two to two. The Bucks had won two games and the Raptors had won two games. So it was unknown which team was going to be heading to the finals. But since that time, the Raptors won two games in a row, putting them in the finals, playing against the Golden State Warriors. The thing that's so amazing about this is the Toronto Raptors have never made it into the playoffs before. This is the first year they've made it into the playoffs and it has been such an amazing, amazing experience for them. It's been so wonderful to watch all of the players, especially Leonard, come alive and be so excited to bring this team to the playoffs and now to the finals. Leonard and Lowry got to speak when they were getting congratulated for moving on to the finals and they both were just so thankful for the fans and so thankful for this experience and so excited that their hard work is paying off. They made it into the playoffs but now they've made it into the finals and they are just so proud of themselves and their team. So it is going to be really amazing. One of the things that's so interesting about the trial Toronto Raptors is they play very very similar ball to the Golden State Warriors. They play, 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 but then in the fourth quarter they come alive and they can take over. So it is going to be interesting to see which team is better at that in the finals and which team actually comes out on top. I predict that they are going to be playing seven full games. I think that both teams want it so bad the difference between the two teams is the Golden State Warriors, like I said earlier, have had a lot of time to prepare. They've had a lot of time to rest and get some of these players well, hopefully. And unfortunately, the Raptors have only had a few days since they ended the playoffs moving on to the finals. The first finals game is Thursday, May 30th. So this video is being posted Thursday morning. So Thursday, May 30th at 6 p.m., on ABC, which for us here in Southern California is Channel 7. I know I'm gonna be watching the game. I'm really excited to see how it goes. I'm really excited to watch this matchup because I think it is an amazing matchup and I think it's going to be very, very fun and entertaining to watch. I'm interested to see if the Golden State Warriors injuries have healed and if their players are back. Obviously, I'm sure that information will be released the morning of the finals game. So I will be watching, I will be checking, and I will be looking forward to seeing these two teams match up against each other in the finals. I'll be checking back in with you along the way because like I said, I think this is going to be a full seven games. So I think we're gonna have a couple of weeks of outstanding TV to watch here, watching these two teams against each other. But Hopefully you'll be watching as well. We'll check in at the next video and see how everybody's doing, see which team is ahead and see who we think. I'm still voting for the Golden State Warriors, but I think the Toronto Raptors are amazing and I absolutely think they have a chance to win. So I'll check in with you soon. We'll talk about who's winning, talk about what else is going on, if there's any other Lakers news or updates. But for now, that's the end of my video for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to cheer for our Lakers next year going into the playoffs. We all have to have good thoughts and prayers for them to make it. They have a new coach. Hopefully they're gonna get some great new players over the summer. And hopefully we will have a great season next year. But for now, we're gonna be voting for our other California team, the Golden State Warriors in the finals this year. It's gonna be a great matchup and I'll be back soon. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!